true story. After the last episode, I went back to Iris to try to get some uh, apples for the coming fight, only to get myself killed. And at that point, I realized I had not saved since I started playing. <sighs> On the plus side, I was able to get some uh, more money. I was able to get the cheetah without having to uh, pay the cheetah the extra money. So now we're back to where we were with just a little more cash. Okay, Tower of Babel. Let's see, and yeah, that's right. We were taking the express elevator up to the top to fight the boss. First, let's save. That's the worst part of it. The save is just, you can pause anywhere and save. As an old veteran gamer, I am ashamed of myself. Let's climb to the top and... Oh! Yep, this is the boss. And quite a tough one, at least the first time I uh, faced him back when I was a kid. Uh, you want to use ice magic to get double damage on him, of course, but you can only hit him after he does that move. A little charge up thing. If you're quick, you can zap him twice. The thing is, unlike a lot of, um, a lot of games, he doesn't really have a set pattern. So you basically just have to wait and hope he does that attack again. That said, this was a very creative boss. But I like the fact that they, they take advantage of the 2D aspect of him. Oh. And basically has... He swings his hands to the right, swings his hands to the left, swings both of his hands at the same time. Spins neat, doesn't really do anything. And shoots his hands out like rocket fists. And does a super attack. Other than that, he just kind of dances around and jumps. Okay, oh, there he goes. Good. So we can get this finished and get moving. And he is down. Unfortunately, he was the rope to whatever was above this tower. <laughs> Heaven, I presume. That was why people were trying to build the Tower of Babel, wasn't it? To go reach God? <laughs> okay, well... We can't get up anymore. Pingui is suggesting that we go to where he lives because they have some sort of seed. Probably to plant similar to the Mario vines. It should take us up to the whatever's up there. Well, we have nothing else to do, so let's go give it a go. Oh, right. We can't swim across the ocean. Fortunately, we have run across somebody who probably can. Okay. And there he is. Dinosaur, who I believe is called Dippy in the American version. Whoa, 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 whoa Penguin. He, he, he didn't say he was depressed. He just wondered what was beyond his little pond. Can't go throwing depression on people like that, man. Anyway, a dinosaur has joined the group. In addition to crossing the ocean, you can also use him to cross over spikes. And if you use him with the cheetah, it actually lets you do it a little faster. We will be using that later, but not right now. For now, we just need to get across the ocean. Okay, here we are in the ice area of Freesia. The obligatory ice level is what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't as cliche at the time, I suppose. Okay, before we go in though, we need this guy. And you need him too, because uh, without him, you can't beat the boss here. Yeah, came here to fight the monsters and was immediately trapped in front of the palace too. Well done there. He is, of course, fire magic, and if you mix him with the penguin, you will find it says that he does the strongest ice magic. I don't know why they call this ice magic. It puts like a black aura around them. It drains them really fast. It's powerful, yes, but uh, not as useful as you'd think. Okay, heading into the palace now. 
most of the enemies here are going to be teddy bears. Well, the polar bears probably. You're the same size as you. And any of these bears, there are, I believe, snowmen of some variety. And of course, the boss. Oh, and money. Not really an enemy. More of a friend. Oh, that bear throwing the sword from the upper area to hit the, that. That took me forever as a kid. I just. It's like when I first played Nintendo and I couldn't understand the concept of getting Mario to run and jump at the same time. I don't know. I guess nowadays, games like Portal and the Stanley Parable, we're just used to thinking different. Okay. Oh, there's a snowman. Okay. No real reason to fight them, but if you do want to fight the snowman, the uh, strongest ice magic, darkness nova, or whatever you want to call it, is really effective against them. Yeah, I do a lot of hopping here. It could be a lot easier than trying to run around. Okay, we keep moving up. We should reach a little, yeah, side thing here. Go down here to the other side. Little teleporter past the teddy bear. Again, you can't jump over enemies. Okay. Now we need the squirrel to rebound the blade with the right fragment here. Like so. Okay, that's cleared our path. I'm gonna pass this guy again and head back to where we were. It's pretty short simple, all things considered. I it's weird how I remember it being longer, mostly because I didn't understand how to hit a lot of those blocks. Like I said, the being on the upper level, throwing the sword down kind of threw me for a loop. Oh, you have some penguins here, though. I have Pingui out, so we can talk to his family. Guy and we have Gwynny. What we got? Just Pen? Okay. Pen. Pen, Pen. No word is he's involved in the Triisalon. Little, little Gwyn. Okay, very cute. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, you mentioned the, ten, the Fortress of Root being somewhere around here. And the monster Leviathan who lives therein. But the monster Leviathan being known as a friendly sword. Okay. Yeah, you need a little speed up to jump over these. Fortunately, the ice kind of helps when you do super jumps. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Look who we run into here. Or slime hater. Yeah, get out of my way. Jerk. Okay. Oh, gotta kill these. Easily right up to the boss, I believe. And though it wasn't quite clear, naturally you're gonna throw your sword at anything you're curious about, and keep throwing at this little guy, and he clears up the lice for ya. You need to wait though, because he's gonna well, you can actually go now and just hit it whenever you're on the ground later, but might as well take care of it now. And that should clear our path. Uh, oh, oh yeah, before we go, um, hey man, I got a little something for you. Yeah, here, uh, try some of the... Yeah, how you like that? <laughs> Chase me around, I'm a slime. Dolt. Okay. Let's crack these open so we can keep moving. And, uh... Gonna get back to where I was. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, no, was it? It was the other one, wasn't it? Uh, bear with me, people. It's been a while. <laughs> now that's where Eamon is gonna be resting for a while. Uh, go up here. Pass the snowman to be blocked off again. Dang it. Oh, I, don't I don't think that was in anyone. Don't, don't I have a quicker way there? No, I don't want to see Eamon anymore. Nothing over here. Uh, I'm sorry, I should have been a little more 
attentive to where I was going earlier. Yeah, it's this way. Yeah, we're gonna go back up here, jump over this, and it's gonna bring us right next to where the penguins were. Which is now cleared off. Well, this little guy. Can't help but feel sorry for him. He looks like he's really panicked right there. Okay, well, we've got to this part. We need to... There's a, Yeah, there's some blocks over there. We need to position ourselves just right. So equip the squirrel for s distance. And clear off some spots for ourselves. Go ahead and hit the top one, too. I think you can only hit it from the side. Okay, that should be enough. We should be able to get to the boss from here. We'll avoid the teddy bear. Oh, yeah, boss will kill that, too. Okay. And here we are. Boss Arena. Not suspicious at all. Okay, we got the seed from the giant plant. Here is, I believe his name is Georama. The trick to finding him is that you have to switch in between hot and cold forms. Actually, it needs to be either the penguin or the lion. Now, if you pause just right and switch to the other one, you can sometimes hit him twice, since the sword effect will change whenever you change the animal instantaneously. I might be able to pull it off here. Maybe not. If not, hey, it's just easy to keep going back and forth until he... Oh. Now I can't use the... Uh, the strongest ice magic, oddly enough, has no effect on him. In fact, there's a lot of things that the, the strongest ice magic just doesn't have an effect on. Also weird is that there's no strongest fire magic. I never understood that. It really seems like they meant to call the... Uh, Lion and the penguin's combined ability, something else. Okay, well, it takes care of him. I got my obligatory health upgrade. And now I'm here. First time I played this, I wandered around this for probably about 15 minutes because there's no clear indication of what you're supposed to do. It's just a room full of trees. I will spare you all that weight. <laughs> And with a little pachinko, we are going to end up in the, forest, the Fortress of Root. But we will cover that next time.